All right, uh, everyone, welcome back to the main track. Uh, up next, we are going to welcome back an old friend of Coast Club. Uh, I will still pronounce uh, your name wrong, but let me try my best. <laughs> Feng Shua. <laughs> Sorry, I, 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 I just can't. <laughs> okay. Then uh, from the video land, uh, a famous project, uh, video and project, uh, he's going to talk about a long await VLC 4.0 and future plan. I'm sure many of us have uh, benefit from VLC media, maybe, uh, maybe media player uh, several years. Uh, for over years. So uh, this will be going to be an exciting peek into what's next for the famous project. So uh, still, please check coastcup.org for the shared notes of this talk and be a contributor, please. And also uh, check the Slido URL there. That's welcome. Bonsoir. Ni hao. Um, yeah, so let's start. Uh, I'm one of the VLC developers uh, for many years now. Uh, I did work first on UI, and I got caught in all the uh, lower levels. Uh, now I'm doing a, a lot of codex, demoxers, uh, technical things. Uh, and uh, uh, I belong to VideoLAN, uh, which is uh, the main developer of uh, VLC, uh, we are non-profit French, we don't like patents. Uh, we fight for interoperability. Uh, and we host a lot of open source multimedia projects. Uh, and mostly no uh, lot of, uh, of products, including decoders. So VLC4, yeah, VLC4. I have an answer for you. First thing first. I don't know. So if you're asking when the next release is coming, I don't know. Why? So we had a lot of objectives for the next release, a uh, lot of architectural challenges. We have a lot of long-standing issues uh, because this code is getting old, and we wanted to introduce a lot of new things. So. We had to rewrite the video resource uh, allocation, uh, change the model to avoiding force feeding the video output and waiting for it to have its job complete. Uh, we wanted also to change the transcoding part. Maybe you're not used to this one, but uh, it is important, for example, to output HLS. Uh, so we had to keep the original timestamp. And also, we had a lot of issues with audio resampling, so people complaining that uh, the audio was uh, resampling with MP3 at the start or um, at some point. Uh, so we had to change the clock model, which is quite hard. Uh, so instead of using a, pro a program clock reference, by default, we change to audio pacing, because your the audio output has its own clock, and you cannot fight this clock. So if we want to play audio and synchronize it with video, it's better to use the clock, the audio clock, uh, and and uh, offset a bit the frames to match the time, the audio timings, than doing the opposite. So that's why we we are doing. Uh, on the user experience, so we had this old UI that a lot of people experience. Some people love it and some people hate it. So we receive a lot of complaints because we are old. So we want to write a modern UI. OK. Uh, we want to maximize, get rid of all the useless buttons and get something more clear. We also want to support dark themes, uh, which is a recurring request, uh, have a better media library. And uh, we also need uh, internally to rework uh, the playlist API to improve and add more like Dropbox or external sources. And we also were planning to add VR because we already ship 360 video. And on the requirement, uh, we are dropping Windows XP. Uh, so seven is the minimum. Uh, on macOS, we are going for with Yosemite now, uh, iOS 10. Android KitKat by default, because we were still supporting older Android. And if, you're if you are going to build by yourself, we are going to more recent version of compilers. Of compilers sorry. Uh, 
so the code base uh, is quite uh, old now. The fork is old for 4.0. Uh, a lot of merge requests, uh, a lot of commits, uh, a lot of contributors, uh, new contributors as well. And we are late. We are late, we are late, we are late, four years late now. Uh, we keep expiring milestones, like uh, the famous video game, which took way too long. Uh, why? Uh, code is old. Uh, the architecture is old. It was built around the MPEG-2, uh, the DVD things. Uh, this is really hard to understand. Um, it's not really documented. Uh, we try to figure sometimes. Uh, so we knew it. That's why we never started to do the work before. But we are getting close. Uh, so right now, uh, new clock is done. The video architecture is finished. Uh, we still are working for the transcoding part. Uh, the modern UI is getting a lot of progress uh, and also a lot of new regressions. Of course, uh, uh, so on the output, audio output, uh, we have some limited gapless output now between tracks, which is quite good if you only play audio. Uh, we no longer have resampling issues. Uh, and we are able to handle delay properly. For example, if you are using uh, AirPlay or Bluetooth speaker, you can synchronize perfectly. And if you are used to the Chromecast feature, uh, we added uh, hardware accelerator encoding. Uh, and we are switching to HLS, uh, which means uh, we can fix uh, a, l a long standing bug of underrun. Um, and we can now ship subtitles by default, uh, which was not possible uh, before. Uh, and about the VR, uh, well, we spent a lot, a lot of time, and in fact, wasted a lot of time on this. Uh, so this promise is not currently be uh, included in 4.0 for now. So no more HDDs, no more stereoscopic, unless someone uh, gets involved in the code really fast. Um, but we have fixed uh, really old bugs that we were not able to fix uh, um, for a long time. Uh, so now we have a nec uh, next frame which is working. Sounds stupid, but for us it was hard because of the architecture and the timings. So we have a frame by frame which works. But we also have some kind of hack to support uh, a previous frame. Uh, um, so it, it kind of works. But you can now play back reverse frame by frame if you want. This is very useful for uh, video surveillance, for example. And also, we added uh, super resolution uh, on NVIDIA and Intel uh, architectures. Uh, in fact, it is already on 3.0 if you have uh, updated. Uh, wait, 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 it's not released yet. So not yet. And on this term output, so as spoke about the hardware encoding support. Uh, we also support Intel QuickSync and the Video Toolbox native uh, hardware encoding. Uh, we also improved the subtitle support a lot. Uh, we also added for developer uh, a Mison support. Uh, now we can be with Mison and we will switch at some point to Mison. Goodbye to Auto Tools. And we have also uh, 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 a route for the Rust modules that we will be able to write. Um, but also we had to write um, a full media li library, uh, which was quite buggy uh, since the, two, uh, the, the VLC2, uh, there was some kind of SQL media library which was not working, which was removed in current version, but we need something which works. So someone wrote uh, a dedicated library for this, which is discovering your uh, folders, everything, uh, gathers metadata, does the thumbnailings with the help of VLC, 
And you can store the playback state and preferences for the audio tracks, which was not possible before. And you can also search, but that's the basic. And it's already in production. Uh, if you have, uh, if you are using uh, VLC for Android or VLC on iOS. So for developer, uh, we have changed our event model. Um, we also added a thumbnailer, sorry, a thumbnailer API, uh, a pre-parsing API, which is for matching, uh, fetching metadata. Uh, a service discovery API, which is for external sources. Uh, we have better podcast integration now. And we have a lot of wrappers. Uh, so we have C++, uh, we have Android, iOS, which is a well-known one. We have C Sharp. We also have uh, a good community uh, around our, our port to uh, VLC for Unity. And we are also working to bring uh, VLC to Unreal. Um, so, uh, one thing which is popular right now and is the next thing uh, wait, for video players is low latency. So, VLC is really bad uh, with latency. Uh, if you are playing live streaming or you try to stream locally, we have uh, one second to two second latency because we have buffering latency, we have framing delays, like in decoders, mostly because we are doing push to pull one frame. Uh, we also have uh, decoders delay. Uh, well, it depends on the codec and the profile, usually. Uh, so that's annoying. And we improved it a lot. So you can see this is, uh, you can see on the right the number of frames. So between the two pictures, there is uh, two frames uh, delay at 60 FPS. Uh, this is on uh, local LAN. So we have a new option on 4.0 for to switch to low delay, which uh, required us to do a full pipeline tweaking uh, to use this option. We are targeting some decoder-specific modes um, because some hardware decoders have a specific mode for low delay. And we are really fast, really, really fast. And we have people right now developing other new tools with, with uh, this. And you can try, and uh, this is well documented. And about the UI, so the UI, uh, we are not targeting uh, Qt6, uh, uh, and everything is built uh, in QML now, uh, which is now allowing to use dark teams. Um, we have proper styling. Uh, we run into a lot of issues, mostly related to Qt. Um, the sad thing is we are, t we are aiming for Windows 7, and Qt6 doesn't uh, work on Windows 8 or Windows 7, so we have probably have to fix Windows uh, Windows uh, QT 6 to be able to build on uh, for Windows 7 and Windows 8 before releasing. If you want, if you want to match uh, uh, our target of Windows 7. A uh, lot of issues, so. Uh, and Wayland on Linux has also issues. Uh, and we are also working on, on providing a legacy interface uh, for people, so they are not lost. So how do, what does it look like? Uh, well, uh, it looks way different. Really, really, really different. A uh, lot of things. So it looks like, like most of media players today, um, with a lot of categories and, and tabs. Um, and for music, you can also sort and uh, classify. Well, okay, good. So, for live demo, uh, you can con we can resume your video. Is it working? Shit. Yeah, so you can resume what you were watching. What you were wa uh, watching before. Uh, you have a new pop-up menu overlay. Uh, well, a lot of features, but you also have a picture-in-picture, picture, 
uh, a pop-up uh, video, uh, well, a lot of things, a lot of new things. Uh, yeah, we are quite good on this now, uh, but still people complain it's not really, really complete. Uh, I'm complaining, mostly for DVDs. Uh, there's still a lot of things missing. You can try it. It's always available every day with the new patches. But, of course, not stable. And uh, we would like to hear uh, a lot of feedback from people. But what's next? Uh, yeah, a uh, lot of more features. So people are complaining that the hotkeys are not matching. Uh, like, uh, people want to, uh, to click on the video to pause, and it's what we used for zooming, so for full screen. Uh, we want to integrate a lot of shaders, like for upscaling to play better anime. Um, we also need to support HDR on Linux. Uh, we want on Windows to move the subtitles into black bar, uh, so below the video. Uh, if for some reason we want to support transparency, if you remember, uh, I mentioned uh, Unreal uh, and Unity video games engines. So mostly this is the reason. But we also have a project of sandboxing. So VideoLAN has a pretty bad record of being in the top five desktop uh, uh, attack surfaces um, from some uh, government sometimes. So we are trying to improve uh, uh, our own security to make uh, their, things, their uh, job more difficult. So instead of doing a per app uh, isolation, which is um, what you usually do when you jail your application on your desktop, uh, we are doing per level. So we want to jail the decoder independently of the demuxer. We want to jail the video output independently. So we can have more finer restrictions uh, and probably more greater restrictions at the demuxer level, level, which is the uh, main surface attack. So uh, more secure VLC, but that's really slow now. Really, really slow. Uh, we are trying to improve it because mostly we are pipelining data uh, between uh, a lot of modules. So we are using uh, a Rust library uh, as a basis, uh, which is available uh, on GitHub. Um, and right now, it on, it's only available for Linux and Windows, but we are still experimenting and uh, progressing on this. And also, we have another project which is really interesting. So, no more web plugins since they are dropped from the browser. So, a lot of people complain that you cannot use VLC inside the web browser before. Yeah, so what can we do? Uh, can we run v VLC directly in the web browser? Yes, if you recompile VLC into WASM. It's possible with WebAssembly, which is evolving quite fast now. We were able to rebuild libvlc, and we have performance which is really close to the native performance. And it means you can run VLC just in the browser. You just load the URL, and that's all. And it's always up to date. No more security issue as well. You can try it uh, with the URL there. We have a demo for desktop. So we are also able to use the browser native accelera hardware acceleration. Um, but if you think that it's VLC, you are not no longer limited to what your browser supports. So whatever codecs your browser requires is no longer needed. You can play MPEG2, you can play MKV, you can play all your old files into your browser, no problem. You can also use any subtitle, even DVB subtitles. You can use, you can play your DVD ISO. Uh, you can go beyond the restriction of your browser in, in for colors or color depth. Uh, and on the performance side, uh, we are able to do 4K in full software. 
Well, uh, that's the end of my talk. <laughs> uh, I think I'm early. Yes, sorry. Uh, yes, good. Uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, it's a pleasure to be in Coscup. Uh, I see that Coscup is growing uh, really fast. A uh, lot more sessions. So that's really pleasant to be here. Uh, it's becoming one of the biggest uh, Asian conference for open source. Thank you very much. Uh, now we will see for the questions. Uh, okay. I think, yeah, okay. Uh, it's not it's not going up. Okay. It's not working. No, it's it's there. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, first, the first question was, uh, is, will new YouTube rule come with next update is to fix VLC YouTube streaming issue? Okay, so uh, YouTube uh, Lua. So YouTube Lua is a script uh, which is uh, maintained by the first party, which allows to play back uh, uh, YouTube video directly into VLC. Um, so we can ship an update. Uh, we will ship an update for this, uh, except uh, it will break as soon as uh, YouTube is changing. So we also need to provide a way to have better updates uh, on this uh, and automatic updates. Uh, we have some plans for this. I'm not sure it will be a 4.0, but for sure there will be an update, uh, uh, and also on 3.0. Um, but there is one major problem, um, because if you want currently to be able to decipher the YouTube URL to be able to play back into VLC, you need, you need to uh, interpret some uh, JavaScript code, JavaScript code, and for this we need to embed the JavaScript uh, engine. So we are trying to figure where to work around this, because of course we won't be able to to ship a JavaScript engine unless we have a, some component which is already shipping this engine. So maybe Qt. Well, or we can abuse uh, some other library, we will see. The second question is that uh, since the old version of Windows cost issue, have a VLC ever considered drop in, in 7 or in 8? Oh, yeah. So dropping Windows 7, Windows 8 would make a lot of people unhappy. Um, dropping Windows XP will make a lot of w users unhappy, especially in India. Um, but the, the choice was was difficult. But at some point, we we are no longer able to maintain the, uh, those builds, uh, especially because there's those there's issues and uh, really old architectures. Uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, uh, yes, there's still some problem, but something we can do. Uh, but as I mentioned, uh, the uh, Qt library, Qt6 library, is not supporting those. Uh, and we have someone working uh, into fixing it uh, for those platforms, uh, so we will be able to to ship uh, VLC uh, with the UI, well, otherwise no UI, it would be pretty useless. Yeah. Uh, so can we consider dropping it? Uh, if I could, I would, but no, we can't. So that's also a reason of the delays. So a lot, a lot of uh, technical issue we run into, and, and we are progressing. But for, okay, so. There is one candidate date for the release, which is end of the year. Uh, personally, 
Uh, don't believe it. Yeah, maybe another six months. Yeah. Wow. So no more question. Okay. Any other question? No. Then. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. I, I